Welcome into this brand new episode of Pops Reacts. Today, we are going to react to Irish people trying Southern food for the first time. This is from the channel called Facts. Now, there are a lot of channels that do things like this. I don't really react to those just because prior to starting YouTube, I know, at least for American stuff, they're not very good at making it legitimate, so I assume it's the same way for others. <clears throat> BuzzFeed. But... This is a channel I used to watch a lot, and I have not seen this particular video, but from what I recall, they are a little better at making things seem legitimate, at least on the American side. So let's see what they think of classic Southern foods. Fried chicken-ish, my dishes yeah. like that. Can't go wrong with fried chicken, I'll tell you that much. Gumbo. All right, gumbo is kind of like a Southern Louisiana-based I'll be honest with you. I'm not entirely sure about the difference between stew and soup. I think stew just has more meat in it. I don't know. If if you know, correct me in the comments. I know you will, and I'll love you for it. Now, prawn. Oh, yeah. Prawn is what y'all call shrimp. Okay. Gumbo can really vary. There's chicken gumbo, shrimp gumbo. There's people that put both. So don't be married to these three ingredients. That's just one version of gumbo. Gumbo is kind of whatever you make it. It's usually a little seasoned, a little spicy, at least compared to normal stews, but it is really good. Yeah, well, I can see a prawn in here, so... Oh, I never had a prawn before. Mm. Can't go wrong with shrimp. It's like, it's spicy, but it's not too spicy. No, oh, I was expecting that with that now. It's gumbo, guys. It is the best thing to have on a cold winter's night for dinner, I'm telling you. I knew oh. that from the Princess and the Frog. It's kind of like a liquefied burrito with prawns in it. This would be like what they have left off. As a Texan, he does not know burritos, but let's move on. Or after cooking a big dinner, it's like, oh, what vegetables have we got left? Yeah. Just... Oh, we've one or two prawns. Oh, <laughs> them in here and we have no gumbo. <laughs> I imagine Southern food, they're all kind of like warming and comforting, but it's quite warm there now. Yeah. <laughs> the sweat. Is spicy stuff common in Ireland? I mean, I'm sure it's not as common as the South, at least not in Texas where I'm from. But then again... And this is a total side note. The South itself is very regional. Like, what is common in Texas wouldn't be common in, let's say, Mississippi, Alabama, or Tennessee. However, gumbo has found a way to make its way around. I'm sure the legitimate stuff around New Orleans and Southern Louisiana in general is better. But gumbo is one of those that kind of transcends borders. I forgot where I was even going with that. But yeah, the South is different. It's okay. I think, yeah, fishy is good. I like gumbo. Yeah. Gumbo is delicious. Chicken gizzards. Okay, this stuff... It's a part of a chicken's digestive tract. As far as what exactly it is, I don't know, but they deep fry it. It looks weird. Admittedly, the texture is different. It's not like a meaty texture. It's almost like a cartilage type texture. I know it sounds strange, but the flavor, so good. I wonder if they'll agree though. I have to say, I do not I don't like the look of They look like deep fried little poops. Is it deep fried poop? That's fair, like okay. chicken testicles. Aren't they? Yeah. That was way nicer than I thought it was going to be. See? Beef it, nuggets. Yeah. Flavor's good. Or like beef like fritter or something. It's a, an organ found in the digestive tract of some animals. <laughs> so this has helped make food. So this is the chicken's stomach. Full circle. Full circle. This was actually yeah, pretty didn't good. Taste bad. Waste not, want not. This was fine. It was just the idea of eating a gizzard. I've had chicken feet. I've had chicken arse. I've had chicken <laughs> beak. You know, <laughs> think their stomachs now. This is nothing to me. Oh my God! This is this is a southern delicacy. Basically, it's whatever meat you want it to be. Like in my experience, it's typically been ground beef. But I guess, and I've had it with ground turkey, which. The thing about ground turkey, if you season it enough, it's hard to tell the difference. Because at this point, the meat itself is not really the star of the show. Again, potato, onion, egg. I, I do a layer of cheese on mine. But basically, the top of it's a tater tot. I don't know how common tater tots are outside of America, but basically imagine a hash brown nugget. And that's essentially what a tater tot is. I'm willing to bet they're going to be over the moon on this one. That's meat. That's mince, is it? You're not grinding up gizzards for us, are you? It's like a surprise. I don't know what it is. It could be it. A gizzard tater tot casserole would be amazing. But okay, let's move forward. It smells like uh, those gherkins off a hamburger. As an Irish person, I feel the need to recognize potatoes, you know? <laughs> this is <laughs> definitely a potato, I hope. Yeah, it, it seems very Irish. Okay, I realize I'm pausing a lot, but the video I'm reacting to is in the description, so if you just want to enjoy it uninterrupted, there it is. One slight critique. Don't eat the tot, then the filling. Find a way to get a little bit of each thing on your fork if possible. That is the ideal way, because all those textures coming together are just, ah, amazing. Mm, that is definitely Irish. Oh, tater tots. Ah, okay. tater tots. Oh. I've heard many things about tater tots. That is a really tasty dish now. Yeah, that's actually really nice. It's like a good family wholesome dish, you know? Yeah. Also, if you recall my second video, I reacted to a shepherd's pie. 
uh, in America, we tend to put beef in it because ground lamb is not super common and not widely eaten, at least compared to beef. I have since learned that is a cottage pie. So I, I guess essentially, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is essentially a cottage pie, but you replace the mashed potatoes with tater tots. And if your stomach can handle it, a couple of minutes prior to this being done, throw a layer of shredded cheese on top of that thing. I'm telling you. That grandma would make you just after church. That's accurate. Collard greens. I've had this a couple of times. It looks kind of gross and weird. It looks like lawn trimmings with a broth on it, but trust me, it's really good. This is the stuff Charlie Bucket used to eat before he went to the chocolate factory. It looks like something you feed a cow. Wow, man. Oh God, that's, that's accurate. So I don't know what these little bits are. They're bacon bits. That's I don't bacon. Know what they are. No, it's very chewy. Mm -hmm. I've never been a fan of cabbage, and yet I keep on eating it. This is hotter than Dirty Dancing. That film is hot. It's yeah. just like, feels like it takes ages to chew and then digest. Basically, all of their dishes, they're all right on their own, but they put them all together, now you're talking. There we go. Oh my god. I thought I was going to get some clarification on what a grit actually is, because even I don't know what it is. I, I love how one of the ingredients for grits is grits. And here's the thing, I know I can Google it, I'm just too lazy. Milk, grits, water. Let's see what they think. Uh, I thought it was gonna be like something nice, but it's it's clearly baby food. It smells sweet. Like, well, it smells a lot like custard. Uh, I don't sweet. get custard. Do you get custard? I thought it was gonna be custard. Okay, before I move forward, one thing about grits, it tastes like whatever you add to it. Like the actual grits themselves are pretty bland and flavorless by design. Typically, I've seen people put butter in there, some salt and pepper, you know what I mean? Some people make it sweet. A lot of people say putting sugar in your grits is a sin, but at the same time, if you save it as a dessert item, it can be good. Although whenever it is sweetened, I typically have seen honey put in there. The South itself is bigger than most countries, so it does vary by region, I'm sure, but that's what I've seen personally. It's like an ingredient for some food that hasn't been cooked yet. <laughs> this is great. Sounds appetizing. <laughs> You've given me texture to yeah. eat. That's all it is. I, yeah, I think it should have a more attractive name, though. Grits? No, that's, that's American. That is grits. <laughs> See, that guy on the right, he knows what he's talking about. I'm with him on this one. I think we need to be more open-minded when we think about... Yeah, definitely. Food in other countries. Yeah, because basically Americans would think we eat potatoes all the yeah. time. Yeah. Well, we eat other things. Yeah. I'm thinking they eat steaks all the time. Yeah. Apparently they eat... Not in this economy. <laughs> all right, sorry. That's all for this episode of Pops Reacts. I want to thank you all so much for coming in. If you like this video, be sure to click like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'm on a big push for 1,000 subscribers. But again, I want to thank you all so much for coming in. You all have a good one.